So now that we know when we can multiply matrices, we move on to the second question and that is how do we do it? Let's say for example that I want to multiply A and B which are 3 by 5 and 5 by 3. I conclude that the result must be 3 by 3. So I know my matrix will have three rows and three columns. I can write it like this. And the problem that I am left with is how do I fill out these nine cells? And the basic answer is through the dot product. So here's the answer. If A is N by M, and now I let the dimension of B be M by L, so that there is no question that they can be multiplied. If B is M by L, B will have M rows, and since A has M columns, I can do the multiplication. And the product C, which is A times B, will then be an N by L matrix. And to compute the elements of this C matrix, we use the following formula. To find the element of C in row I and column J, I do the dot product of the ith row of A with the jth row of B. Here, A I comma dot is really a row vector and B dot comma J is really a column vector, but you should think of them here as their corresponding vectors. A useful way of computing the product is to use the following setup. So I have my matrix A here, which is 3 by 5. I don't care about the numbers now, I just fill out each number with a dot. The important thing is that it has 3 rows and 5 columns. The matrix to the left of the multiplication sign should go here. The product of A and B should go right after A, should go here. And we concluded already that C must be 3 by 3 in this case. And the matrix to the right of the product sign goes above C, right there. Writing it like this makes it simpler to remember this formula. C i comma j is the scalar product of a i comma dot and b dot comma j. For example, if I want to calculate c1 comma 1, that's this one right here. The formula tells me that I should do the scalar product of a1 comma dot, that's the first row of a, that's this one here, with b dot comma 1. And that's the first column of b, that's here. So we see to get this first element I do the scalar product of this row with this column. How do I know that I can do the scalar product? Well, that's guaranteed by the requirement for us to be allowed to multiply matrices. We required A to have the same number of columns as B has the number of rows, which means that the number of elements in this red vector, 5 in this case, must be the same as the number of elements in this blue vector. Precisely the same rule applies for calculating each element in C. Just pick any one. If I want to calculate this element, all I need to do is the scalar product of this row with this column. The point being that this row and this column should meet exactly in the cell which I want to compute. Okay, so here is an example with some numbers. Let's say I want to calculate A times B. I want to call that product, I want to call that C. Well, A is 2 by 2 and B is 2 by 2, so the product is allowed and C must be 2 by 2. Set it up like this and the product is simple to do. So to do the element 1 comma 1, I do the scalar product of this row with this column. I get minus 1 times 1, that's minus 1, plus 2 times minus 2, 
that's minus 5. To get the next element here in 1.2, I do scalar product of this row with this column. And that's minus 1 times minus 1, that's 1 plus 2, so that will be 3. To get the 2 comma 1 element, I do this row with this column, scalar product, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 0, so I'm just left with 2, and the final one is this row, this column, and that will give me minus 2. Writing this out explicitly, C11, the dot product between first row of A and first column of B, minus 5, C12, dot product, first row of A, second column of B, C21, second row of A, first column of C22, second row of A, second column of B. Putting all these elements into the result, we have this matrix C. Doing matrix multiplication in R is quite simple. You just have to remember not to use the multiplication sign. Again, the multiplication sign in R is element by element. So you have to use the percentage multiplication percentage. So here's an example. I have two matrices, A and B. And you can see that A is 3 by 3, while B is 3 by 4. So A times B should be allowed, and the result should be 3 by 4. If I compute this, I do get 3 by 4. And if you like, you can check that each number is computed the way that we discussed. If I try to do B times A, that should not be allowed because B has 4 columns and A has 3 rows, so that shouldn't be allowed. And R tells us that the product cannot be computed.